Now, what is the right education? Because credentials and modalities don't actually equal more clients. How many, you know, how many, have you seen all those people that, you know, like they have PhD, MSD, RSSKP, 3DD, all behind there, all next to their name? You seen that some before? Of, some of you are like, yeah, that's uh, me. That's yeah, me. yeah, okay. yeah. But, uh, but you notice that when you see that, you're like, eh? You notice that? It's like, eh? It doesn't really resonate, okay? What used to be, those things used to matter, they don't anymore because you want to see how people feel. Now, it doesn't mean that that education doesn't serve. It's just that credentials don't position you necessarily as powerful as they could. The education that you need is, you need an entrepreneurship education, not just a marketing education. That's what a lot of business coaches are, is they're really marketing coaches. They don't really know business, okay? So there's a difference between a business consultant and a business coach, okay? And you need finance education. How many of you got a really solid, amazing education about money in school? Usually it's like one person, maybe two people in the room. And they probably went to ward offers. Right, like they went to like a special school or, you know, something awesome. But for most of us, we did not get a great education when it comes to money. How to make money, how to invest money, how to save money, how to keep money, how to protect money, okay? So you need to make sure that you're getting the right money education, finance education. It was funny, I used to say, well, you know, has anybody ever shown you how to balance your checkbook? And people are like, checkbook? <laughs> It's a new world. I know. It's a new world. Everything's done digitally now, right? Yeah. You also need a marketing education. And marketing is a massive part of your business. It's a big animal that you need to learn how to tame and lead. Okay? So how to fast track your results and unleash your rock star power. Step number three, you got to make business your spiritual practice. Because mastering those first three, that education in entrepreneurship, finance, and marketing is going to create resistance. resistance. Say that with me. Resistance. Resistance. Okay, so you yeah. got to have a way of unfolding that. So your torture, the hell that you have been through, your mess becomes your medicine. That becomes your message. And so in order to do that, in order to heal and grow and have the courage to share your story, like Jennifer Jost has, in order to do that, you've got to have the spiritual tools. You've got to make business your spiritual practice and realizing, okay, every, every time I lean in, every time I'm um, getting outside of my comfort zone, that's my spiritual practice. When I'm mastering enrollment, when I'm, you know, serving more people, that's my spiritual practice, right? So for some of you, you might relate to making business your ministry, right? Right? 